This fish is insane, and it's a huge brown trout. It's the biggest brown I've ever seen in my life. I got him. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got him. Well, guys, thanks for coming back for another video. We're doing something a little different today. I'm out with my buddy Ross, and we're on a little small tributary um, that feeds into Lake Michigan, and we're doing some uh, creek steelhead fishing. It's spring. Today, it doesn't feel like it. It's actually really cold today, but we had a few days that got up into the 60s, and um, our thoughts are it'll push a few steelhead up into these tighter tributaries to start spawning. So um, we're going to fish up and down here and try to fish some of these deeper holes. Our gear is a little bit long for doing this kind of fishing, uh, but we're going to try anyways and see what happens. We, Ross has a couple spots to try, and um, we're going to fish for a few hours and uh, hope to get into a few steelhead. We've hiked in a little bit and seen a few surface, and uh, there's definitely some fish up in here in the system, so hopefully we can get lucky and uh, hook into one. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching. My goodness. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Huge brown. Oh my gosh, you guys. Holy cow. Huge freaking brown. Huge brown. He swiped at it twice. Oh my gosh. fish is insane and it's a huge brown trout. It's the biggest brown I've ever seen in my life. I got him. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got him. Please be recording. Please be recording. I don't have my net and I don't know where Ross is, but this is the biggest brown trout I've ever seen. This is a stream run brown. 
we're steelhead fishing today and it is huge ross this fish swiped at my jig three separate times and he finally committed and hit it now he is huge you guys this is by far the biggest brown i've ever seen and we're steelhead fishing today i think i just said that and it would be really nice to get ross to come here and help with the net but he is down river quite a ways but i'm going to need his help i think mainly because he has the net and this fish is so big that i would like to be able to measure it if i get him in i might be speaking too soon but it is huge 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 ross I need you right now with the net right this second. No, I need it right now. You got to be kidding me. Dude, I've got a huge brown on right now. The biggest brown I've ever seen. Like, dude, this fish is, oh my God, Ross. Like I need, I need help right now. This is, it's a 30 inch brown. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Dude, you don't understand. <laughs> like, and I'm not, this fish. Dude, how far? I, I just, I'm freaking out right now, Ross. Don't, I'm absolutely freaking out. I, if you're close, don't go back. I just need your help. Oh, are you close? Dude. Okay, this thing, oh my god, oh my god, please be recording because this is unbelievable. I don't know how I'm going to land this fish without our net and this fish is so beautiful that we need to be take really good care of it. Ross, dude, come, her, I need you right now. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try to land this thing without him. He's tired out. Oh my God, you guys. Oh, ho, ho, ho. whoa. Oh my God, look at this brown trout. Oh my God, dude. This is a trout of a lifetime, Ross. It's a trout of a lifetime. This is a, this is a trout of a freaking lifetime, dude. Look at this brown trout. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, dude. Are you Oh my god. We need to take really good care of it. I don't know what the... <sighs> Okay, you guys. I hope I got that on video. This is a stream run brown complete natural stream fish. We're steelhead fishing today and I hooked into this fish. I am like in shock, so I don't know what to say. We're, we don't have a tape with us, but this fish is 25 inches plus. Has to be, right, Ross? Absolutely. Um, we're gonna measure it on my rod to get, you know, it's not gonna be perfect, but I, I need to take care of this fish because this is an old brown and I really want to make sure it's healthy. I think it's fine. It fought like like crazy. It, it, it went for the bait three times before I hooked it. And I freaked out because I saw it was a brown on the second take. I couldn't believe it. But Ross was way down river and that's where our net is. I obviously didn't think I would come across a fish like this, but he's doing okay. I'm gonna revive him, make sure he's super good before I let him go. It was a heck of a fight, and uh, 
landing him without the net was a little tricky, but he's in good shape. This is such a big mature brown that I'm going to take all the time it needs for him to get his strength back. These fish, these fish can be 20 plus years old, can't they, Ross? Absolutely. See, he's getting the strength back really good, but I don't care that I'm completely freezing my hands off to get him going. Because I really want this fish to survive and be healthy. He's doing really good. There he goes. Look at the spots on that fish. It is unbelievable. He's, he's getting his strength back. I'm going to let him go. He's going to shoot right back under that log. All right, buddy. Maybe not. He's okay. Just he's just, he's beat and this water is ice cold. Cold as ice. There he goes. Come on, bub. Oh my gosh. He'll be all right. I'd really like to get a good, oh, there he goes. There he goes. We didn't measure him on the rod. I'd really like to get a quick, oh, there you go. We didn't measure him on the rod. Yeah, that was the right choice. <sighs> well, guys, um, I'm going to end the video on that fish. I, me and Ross are both kind of in shock still a little bit about that. We both had our kind of our mindset on steelhead fishing today. And kind of as a secondary, we knew there was some trout in this creek, but didn't even really think about catching them. Um, we brought our steelhead gear and really got lucky to get that fish. Um, I could probably fish the rest of my life and never hook into a fish like that. So it's a really incredible thing. Um, we released the fish. It swam away really healthy um, and we didn't get a measurement on it. I didn't even put it up to my rod. I really wanted to make sure that fish got back healthy. And uh, so be sure to drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think on that on the size of that fish. I think uh, I'll have to go back through the footage and really get a good idea, but I gotta believe it was at least 25 inches, um, which is huge. Uh, so I'm still kind of in shock, so sorry you guys, but uh, I hope, hope that all turned out and you guys thought it was pretty cool. So uh, thanks for watching.